peeper, 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 peeper. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now, people, this video is aimed towards some of the worthless people of Jamaica. May I talk about some of the people where things that people they are foreign. And foreign is a bed of rose and people just a pick where you talk about gold off of the street and money grow up on tree. You do not understand that a lot of persons living in foreign, they are working hard. They are working three to four jobs or two jobs just to make ends meet. So therefore them have it hard and then they are also facing these high bills. We are talking about water rate, we are talking about phone bill, we are talking about rent, we are talking about mortgage rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, blah. But you have some people in a Jamaica, them worse than the bill collectors because the people them even afraid to answer them phone and and whenever them have a day off and a de-stress at them yard and a relax, you not call them a hundred times a day and a talk about you want this, you want this phone, you want that phone, you want these shoes. Rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. So people, take a listen, take a look to what this lady has to say and then I'll give my peace. Yeah, see you through. I'm going to go through. You see all this? What's up? I can't even stand up in this room. I don't know where to walk. I don't know where to turn. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jamaica people, every minute you don't want a phone, you don't have a problem with phone, and I'm like, what is it? See, this America people have got you, for go to work. I can't see where I go, look at my face. I can't see where I go. I have to look at the vehicle that comes from the river down. And every minute you don't want a big phone, you don't want money, you don't want Nike, you don't want Adidas, you don't want a flip or dipper. The name of Jesus and this way I go to the sense of come down. Oh no, for grateful. Help me now. We have snow. This is a snowstorm. Oh, Jamaica people, we need help in America. Come help you go through this storm. Yeah. Oh, for no say. We don't have it like that. We have to pay our bills. We have to buy food. We have to wear boots. See there? See there? They can't literally hide in the snow. Jamaica people, come together and stop beg we. Make we go no when we want go no. Make we go no when we have it. Because it not pretty. It not pretty at all. Now people, I know that there are some of you guys that are very hard headed on a stubborn. I wanna talk about the people they mean and them have money and I hide the money and they don't know so them to send the money come and foreign make people spend it or send the money come at Jamaica make owner spend it because all them up there do a save up money in the bank and the bank are overflow rate lele blue blah blend. Now people wanna have to understand not everybody in a foreign rich. As a matter of fact, most person, the average person, the average Jamaican, the average person from the Caribbean or the West Indies, they are living hand to mouth. So therefore, if you have a friend, we are talking about like Bala B, and Bala B up there pedal stuff, we are talking about the white stuff, and we are talking about the green stuff. And he is able to send you a phone because when him there at Jamaica, you and him used to call, you and him used to be me a talk about right and a left hand friend, right, hey, lay, lay, blue, blah, bling. So therefore, you cannot use Balabi for judge where I talk about Eunice or Auntie Enid, whatever her name is. And things that the two of them are balling. We are speaking about, remember, say Eunice or Enid, she a ball pan a budget. That means say, she's basically making it. We are talking about Auntie Mouth. Now people, some of you persons don't understand how foreign run. Whenever somebody leave Jamaica and they migrate to foreign, whenever they go and live with a family member, that family member is expecting them to carry their share of the burden. That family member is expecting them to get a job after about a week or a couple of months, whatever the case is. So therefore, nobody lives for free. Nobody is carrying nobody's weight. So therefore, how you expect these persons to carry your weight at Jamaica when they they are burning themselves in a foreign. Now you have to understand that these persons are also working like an Eskimo in the snow. So people, when you talk about snow, you talk about some 10 degrees. You talk about minus 30, minus 20, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. We are speaking about some harsh condition. Doing two and three jobs. They have to come out and shovel snow. They have to take off snow for them care before them go to work. They have to go to work, 
put in a eight hour shift and then even after do our next shift we are talking about a double or two other jobs we are talking about three jobs and then whenever them come home every minute them phone a ring I una call them from Jamaica and I talk about you want this you want that you want ask that and comfort you want everything for free and what is even more disturbing or mind-boggling about the whole thing is that when you beg, you're not begging in moderation. You don't want the average stuff, you want the high-end stuff. You don't want some sort of cheap phone or average phone, you want the iPhone, you want the latest iPhone 11S or whatever, S Max or whatever it is called. You want the latest of the latest, you want the best of the best like a Miami. So people, the point that I am trying to make is that the average person that live in foreign is not buying an iPhone. The normal person or the average Jamaican or West Indian that lives in foreign is not buying the average. We are speaking about the top of the line, Samsung. They are buy an average phone that they are getting on some sort of plan. We are speaking about where they pay on a monthly basis. So therefore, they don't own a phone. So therefore, when you are asking these persons to go to the shop, we are talking about the iPhone shop and dish out twelve fourteen hundred dollar for a phone for send come a Jamaica and when them send the phone come a Jamaica you don't even have a hundred dollar credit we are talking about one dollar US credit however you want the top of the line phone and then them have to go finance your habit they have to send you money for buy credit and buy data plan rate lay lay blue blah blend now people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued if you have it and you're there foreign it is your duty because you understand that Jamaica rough it is up to your conscience to so basically know so you have to look out for your family that is in Jamaica because you understand and like them say who feels it knows it however if you are up there and struggling it is we are speaking about unconscionable for your family in Jamaica to feel like you're supposed to take their burden and also take the burden that you are taking in foreign with all these bills and all these responsibility we are talking about kids rate lay lay blue blah blank now what is even worse is that when these people are asking for clothes or shoes, them want Gucci, them want Prada, them want name brand shoes, them want Air Jordan, them want LeBron James, them want shoes with registration and title and all sort of VIN number rate. We are talking about unique stuff. However, the people that are living in foreign, them are wearing, they are wearing some sort of bobo. And people, I am going to explain to you what a bobo is. A bobo is a shoe that when you go in place like Walmart and Target, you see it in a one big bin and them tie the two shoes them together. May I talk about the left and the right because they don't want them to get misplaced. And them cost maybe about nine or ten dollars. That is the type of shoes that these persons are wearing. However, you in a Jamaica with your little broke self and your little hype self, we are talking about ball and panna, we are talking about a budget. You want the top of the line, you want the top of the top shoes, you want Gucci, you want Prada, you want Air Jordan, you want this, you want that, you want everything and you can basically support your habit. So people, the moral of the story is this. Stop being poor and bossy. Stop stress out people are foreign. Make people send the money whenever them have it. Make them send the clothes whenever them have it. Don't tell the people them what you want. Like say you put out a list. Like say you're giving them some sort of shopping list. However, the truth and the facts that whenever you're sending your chest I request, you are not sending the money to a company that list. You are not sending the money to basically pay for that list. However, you are talking about you want people them send your shoes. You want people send you the top of the line phone you want money you want everything you want ass and sag you want ass dead and comfort you want people to do everything for you however you are unconscionable point blank and period so people the moral of the story is that when you are begging beg with discretion beg with conscience don't beg like a thing so you get the people them something for put on because the truth and the facts that you have champagne dreams however you have water pocket point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dance all source and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel we are speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news is that people jamaica has lost 100 billion dollars a year 
to the economy due to crime and corruption. And people, this is information that is coming from a political commentator, and his name is Shalman Scott. So therefore, we are speaking about a credible source. We are speaking about a renowned economist in Jamaica. That means that whenever he says something, it is the gospel. Point blank and period. Now, people, when we think about the fact that Jamaica is a poor country, when we think about the fact that all we hear is all of these theft, all of these corruption, however, we don't see any sort of, we are speaking about nobody is held accountable. Nobody pays a due, nobody gets arrested, nobody gets convicted, nobody is sent to jail. However, these persons are always out there thiefing more and more, always on TV, always in the news and bragging and boasting. However, nobody is basically asking them the question, where is this 100 million? Where is this 200 million? People, we know say something is wrong. So people, the point that I am trying to make is that don't we see that that is the reason why Jamaica is the way that it is? Don't we see why there is so much crime in Jamaica? Because the money that was supposed to go for this or go for that. To build jobs, to build infrastructure, to build education. We are talking about school picking them. It is going in the pockets of these politicians. May I talk about PNP and JLP because me know how people stay whenever I talk. They interpret stuff how they want to interpret it because the JLP is now the ruling party. So therefore, they're going to say, may I diss the JLP. However, may I talk about any and everybody. And people, this has been going on for decades. This did not just start. We are talking about in the last decade or so, the last 10 years or so. May I talk about from the 90s we have talked about 2000 2010 and fast forward 2020 now people let me ask you a question how is it that these politicians are able to get away with stuff like this year after year after year what happened to the dpp what happened to the power power commissioner what happened to the justice system why aren't they seeing these things when we are speaking about a person who is an economist can basically lay out the facts him have the paperwork him have the documentation however these politicians they are out there campaigning now them want four or five more years to go back and do the same thing so people we are speaking about two foot pussery we are speaking about Ainaism in the worst form. We are talking about some white color thief, point blank and period. So that is why we see all sorts of crime. That is why we see that the persons that are out there are speaking about stealing because they don't have any better example. They don't have an example to go by because them sister the head of the stream and do the same thing or the top of the snake or the head of the snake is doing the same thing. So therefore the tail is also going to respond. We are speaking about likewise because people like them say for every action is an equal and opposite reaction. So therefore these politicians we are speaking about these persons that are held are supposed to be held in high esteem. They are basically a bunch of thieves. They are a bunch of crooks. However, they are waiting. We are speaking about September 3rd once again for a next chance to do the same thing. And people like them say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So therefore, the point that I am trying to make is that if we keep, we are speaking about electing these thieves, what do we think is going to happen to Jamaica? It is only going to get worse and worse. Sarah point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up